Hello, welcome to the Hourglass with Jody McCurney Fest Show. Yay! <laughs> what are we um what are we doing today, Jody? Well, today we are crazy about cats and dogs. So we are making a whole bunch of different uh, cats and dogs, mostly dogs, because cat, you know, cats are cats are hard. Kind of the same. You just change their color. But we are making a bunch of different kinds of dogs, and then we're going to make them into different things. We're going to do plant steaks, and there's one right, an example right Here, there. I'm going to move this. Oh, awesome. Oh, look at that cute little chihuahua. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. So we're going to make plant steaks. Like Yoda, yeah? yeah, a little bit. And we're going to make uh, ornaments, ornaments and magnets. Look, one so on the it's up close cam. Let's Some of them are fantasy animals, but look at how cute those are. So this is sort of a uh, Head start on your holiday shows. Mm -hmm. If you sell your work, this will this little uh, oh, setup Jody, will Jody, give Jody, you. I forgot. We're also doing magnets. I said we were doing magnets. Did you? Yes, I, I did. Did. Oh, I they, they never listen. I thought you said we're doing <laughs> gardens and ornaments, ornaments and magnets and magnets. Well, and we're doing magnets. magnets. <laughs> awesome. All right. Very cute. Um, let's. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can't forget. Mustn't forget the most important part of the show. Okay, Save. ready? One, two, <laughs> come on, we gotta hype it up. Work with One, it, work. two, three! <laughs> all right, awesome. all right, here we go. <laughs> okay, and don't forget to share don't while you're here. Don't forget to share, Does comment, that, put like. That, put, put that back, like, put, all right, put that there we go. Okay, let's do it. We, so, I need to tell about the giveaway. Oh, sorry, okay. We have a giveaway where you get Two random things. Two random animals. Not of your choice, sorry. We hope you like them anyway. So you can get one of these garden sticks, magnets, ornaments. They're all fantastic and... And you will get two. You'll get two whole animals. That's yes. so fantastic. Let's see, you enter this giveaway by sharing, commenting, uh, liking, sending in questions. Yes, sending in questions. Um, if when you when you buy the kit, you get a couple when of you extra buy the entries. Kit. Yes, and the first ten people to buy the kit get some, uh, some glow powder. Well, no, it's bonus. We'll get we have some bonus items, and I'll explain yeah. what so they are. So we have bonus items. That's yep. super fun. So you might want to think about snagging one now because it's yep. just the first ten. So okay, now can I start? Yes. Now okay, we can now start. we can start. All right, let's look at a couple of examples. Um, we are using today uh, recycled glass, of course, so it's mostly bottles um, and some window glass and also some uh, vintage plates. I do like to buy the solid colored glass plates at the thrift store and then flatten them um, and then you can cut them into whatever shape you want and use them like sheet glass. And they behave much more like art glass than like float glass, so just keep that in mind. Um, they're not compatible with art glass or float glass. So you have to use them by themselves, but it is another option to give you some new and exciting colors. Um, and we are using a mica kit, and your um, kit, your kit includes a mini mica kit, which is the same mica that we sell uh, here on Mondo Market TV, but this is smaller bottles and a smaller quantity, and so it's a little bit more uh, affordable. But if you already have one, just consider that this might be a great gift or you could um, use it for students. So anyway, sorry, that's not my job, that's your job. Okay, so let's uh, first, first let's look at, at making our mica because you do have to do that yourself. Um, and the mica comes in these little Ziploc bags with the color right on them like that. And oh, you get, isn't are. it pretty? And we get the overhead, thank you. And we get, uh, you get eight colors and eight little bottles and you mix it up like this. It's a powder, of course, and it comes with a little storage box. Do you get so, the palette knife? No, you have to have your own palette knife. Palette knives are very useful. I love palette knives. You have too many palette knives. No, I don't. There's no such thing. Ask any painter. Okay, so when you mix this, you want to do it about one part, and I don't want any of my mica to escape. <laughs> One part mica to about four parts of um, medium. And you can use multiple things for medium. I like to use hairspray because it dries quickly and um, 
it's sticky and it's, it's cheap. Very sticky. It's very sticky and it's cheap. And I usually use, oh, now I've got like in my hair. Oh, sparkly. Um, sparkly. So I usually use an inexpensive brand, but not the very, very cheap. Like I don't get it at the dollar store because the recipe is too inconsistent. And what I found is when you mix um, different, like if you have mica and you need to add a little bit more hairspray, if it's an inconsistent recipe, they don't, all hairsprays don't love each other. So you need to find one, pick one and stick with it. Um, otherwise they turn into goo when you mix them together. So I just put a little bit of mica, or of hairspray, hairspray in with my mica and I have my paintbrush. And you mix this until it's a nice creamy consistency. You see how nice that looks? It's just nice and smooth right there. Okay, and what will happen is, and this always happens, is um, over time the alcohol, the solvent in your hairspray will evaporate and your mica will get dried out or really thick. Um, and I'll show you, like, here's an example. See how this one, it's all dried out on the bottom there? So what you do in that case is you add isopropyl alcohol and I use a 91%. It's so very strong. it is very strong and it does evaporate very quickly, but it also, um, it rehydrates the hairspray. So I just use that. Um, all right, and once you have your mica mixed up and then we can start making animals. All right, so here's the cool thing about glass. And particularly if you're using art glass, you have the opportunity to, um, to play with your colors and maybe not have all brown and white and yellow animals. Like maybe you could have maybe like some blue or yeah, some, some purple. So pretty. the kit, your kit comes with patterns for six different dogs and a cat, a basic cat that can be uh, oh, you, you can tweaked. Yep. Overhead. There they are. Look at how cute those are. So okay, this is your pattern. Um, and there's two things I want to tell you about your pattern. Well, we'll start with one thing. There's one thing I want to tell you about your pattern. If you're using um, dark colored glass like black, you're going to have a hard time tracing the pattern onto the glass. So what I do is I take an overhead transparency or some kind of thick clear plastic. You could also use like takeout containers or the like the the boxes that um, pastries come in because everybody eats a lot of pastries. <laughs> so, uh -huh. yeah. So what I do then is um, just trace the, the pattern onto the plastic like this and then we can cut it out. Um, Ooh, with those nifty little with, our, with nifty little super sharp scissors here. So this is actually not a bad idea to do with all of your patterns, um, but make sure if you, when you do this that you label it, because once you have a whole bunch of little clear plastic scraps, you're gonna have a hard time remembering what goes to what. Yeah, that's... So then if you have um, a dark colored piece of glass that maybe you have a hard time like seeing through, oh, you can just so put it right, isn't that a pretty color? You can just trace it right on the front of the glass and Ooh. Right, then you solve that problem. Okay, but we're actually not gonna do a blue poodle. We are going to do a blue shepherd. So no, here- No bloodles? No bloodles. <laughs> <laughs> so each of these dogs has two layers. So each face has a front and a back and each ear has a front and a back. Um, and they're all very straightforward. You do two of each piece, two of this ear, two of that, and two of this except for the shepherd, and he's just a little bit different. So I wanted to show you how that one works. Um, and this guy has, can you see it? Oh, good, you can, all right. So we're, okay, perfect. Oh, speaking of dogs, if you wanna be entered into this giveaway, you should send like whatever kinds of pets you have to the chat. We'd love to know, we do love pets here at Condo Market <laughs> TV. We do. And you'll be entered to win two of these amazing little ornaments or magnets or garden sticks made by Jody herself. Look at how cute those are. Look at that little side eye. I love it. <laughs> he does have a little side eye. So we've traced the head of the shepherd twice. Now on the ears, see these ears? This is two pieces, but it's actually, um, this is one piece right here, and this is another piece right here. 
So that's what I want to show you. So there are two pieces and they stack. And what happens when you fuse them is they look like folded over ears, which is <laughs> like right, like shepherds have. So. And then just move the glass a little bit and do the other one. Now, some of these patterns have wavy lines like this. Don't stress if you can't cut that sharp of wavy lines. It is not necessary. In fact, I'm just kind of smoothing mine out. Well, you, Logan, should tell everyone, since you ask for pets, what kind of pets we have. <laughs> we have four adorable little cats. Um, well, okay, technically we have two little cats. Two little-ish cats and two very round cats. They're very cute, but very round. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that's why they're cute, right? Yeah, we love them dearly. So we have, uh, we have an orange tabby, and this is named Hobbs, and this is our first orange cat. Um, he has such an attitude. I, so everyone says orange cats are different, and I really kind of didn't believe it. And then we got an orange cat, and, and now we believe now it. Now I believe it. <laughs> um, and then we have... Two black and uh, white yep, cats. Two black and white ones. Um, and one of them sings. Her name is Moo. She is an opera star. Very round. <laughs> kind of looks like a beach ball. Uh, very, very cute. So she has. She'll pick up her um, stuffed toy and walk around the house and sing. And sing With and sing it and in sing. her mouth, it's it's a sight. <laughs> it is a sight for sure. And then we have uh, Clara, who is. Adorable and very mean. She is a one-person cat, that one. Yep. All right. So once we have this all scored, we'll um, just cut him out. And I promise you this is the only one I'm going to make you watch me cut out. But I want to show you how to set up the different ways of fusing, depending on whether you're making a garden steak or a magnet or a ornament or an ornament. Okay. These look a little bit like Pac-Man ghosts, I think, before you put the... <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like we have a question. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sheila Knight says, I have a German Shepherd, um, German Shepherd slash Border Collie, four cats and a chicken. That is a lot of cats. <laughs> One chicken? <laughs> One chicken, oh. I love that. Great. Well, we do have, we didn't do a German Shepherd. Oh, oh no. I can see my homework is already cut out for me. These are really fun, though. I think it would be easy to uh, to come up with a pattern that fits your pet. And I'll tell you, because I am one, I am a very devoted pet owner. So if I could find ornaments that looked like my pets, I would totally would get them. But I'm just going to have to make them. Okay, let me just dispose of this. And maybe while I'm doing that, you could look at the kit. Yes, we have one really interesting kit. I, it's really cool, it's very sparkly. So what we have is we have two tubes of E6000 ribbon, uh, 12 magnets, 12 exactly. So you can make <laughs> 12 of your own adorable little, here, let's get one of Let's see if it sticks. Okay, it doesn't stick, but it's a little magnet. It looks like this. Oh, this is aluminum. That's why it doesn't stick. Yeah, so it's got a little magnet. So you get 12 of your very own magnets, so you can make these adorable, funny little cat faces as I drop it, or dog faces, or uh, you know what? You could come up with any animal. I, if you, you could, but I we're doing really, dogs and cats. I know we're doing dogs. And cats. I think it would be very interesting if one, if someone out there made a rabbit. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't well, it? Wouldn't it be cute if you did? Yes, then you it should would. Send it to us. We'd love it. Okay. Are, are you? Are, uh, I... yes, kid. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very tired. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we have mica and magnets and skewers and wire and ribbon and tiny little bottles for you to mix your own mica in, and just like kit. Jody did. And, and the bonus items, I'll tell you what those are. Ooh, we do love bonus we items. We do love bonus items. So the bonus items are a little bottle of black 
uh, uh, black powder that is float and window compatible. And this is for eyes and noses. Oh. And then a little teeny tube of white frit um, for highlights in eyes and on shiny noses. So that is what the bonus is. So those are the thing, the first 10 people will get a bonus. Okay, so let's do a little bit of painting based on the patterns, okay? So this is, since we're doing a blue dog, I thought it would be fun to do kind of um, sort of fantasy colors too. So on your pattern, you can see that there are these um, lines, right? And these are sort of, if you think about, so the trick with making things like this out of glass is that we are trying to take a round three-dimensional living object and reduce it to a flat surface, but without losing its characteristics, right? So these lines are thinking about um, the high points of the face, right? So if you think about a dog face, it's got like the nose and that's where the light is going to hit first. So the light will come over um, and Right, make shadows further down on the face. So this, this down the front is uh, the light parts. And then you have a nose and a chin, and the chin is gonna be a different color because it's darker. Eyes and also the little places that we will put white um, frit. Okay, so I wanna use the blue that we just made and I'm putting my one piece of glass. I'm just painting the front of these um, because, uh, well, I'm just painting the front for now. If you want to paint the back, you can, um, but it's of course not required because. Oh, I'm, and did you know that you can get one of these patterns of your very own in the kit? I think I might have mentioned it, but oh. I'm not sure because you get the it, pattern for all of the, Dogs and one singular cat. <laughs> it's a very well, it's cute cat. It's the basic master cat. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. Um, Aww, and these adorable. are, it's a printout of the, of the patterns. So it is all ready to use. I'm using little short strokes here because I want to give it the impression of fur. Now with this mica, Mica, if you haven't watched any of my classes before, I use a lot of mica. I love it. But it is a super fine mineral, and so the only part that will stick to the glass is the layer that is very closest to the glass. And there are a few little, mm, not necessarily rules, because I really don't like rules, but guidelines. <laughs> um, and one of them is if you are painting mica on bottle glass, um, on bottle glass or art glass before it's fired, you don't. You can just paint it straight on and a good amount will stick. If you're painting it on window or float glass, you need to etch the glass first with like an acid etch or sand it with some grit or something like that. So we're using um, the bottle glass that has not been fired yet. Actually, I think this piece is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's very startling. <laughs> Um, All right, hit me. <laughs> Sherry Berry says, I have three dogs, a teacup, wow. Did you hear that voice crack? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, three dogs, a teacup chihuahua, two Jack Russells, and one parrot. That's oh, adorable. does the parrot awesome. bark? Oh, I kind of want to know that too. Okay, so this one is, now I'm using green. So with dark blue and uh, dark blue, any color of green bottle glass and black glass, these ice colors are just amazing. So I'm using, now I'm putting on green. Oh, you can look, it even looks like a little collie. Like He's the, starting to, right? Oh, so cute. It, um, and I use, I looked at pictures of dogs to, to come up with these real dogs move too fast. <laughs> Ooh, can I show them the close up of this little dachshund? You betcha, of course. So we have this little dachshund with its, look at those bright eyes it's so cute and it's Not got like funny. little spots on its ears oh they're so cute and you can mix these micas too to make different colors i do think the dachshund is one of my favorites yes he's very adorable okay but we have chihuahuas for sure all right Yay. so once we have the mica on there on that top layer oh i, I need to do the ears too <laughs> okay so we have our ears here 
Oh, he looks like a little ghost dog. Well, that's because we haven't put his eyes on yet, but we're going to. Okay. And here's his, the top part. And we want to put that color on the top part of his ear. Okay. Oh, whoop. Okay, so here's the cool thing about Micah. If you make a mistake, you can easily just... Wipe it on off. Wipe it off. Yeah, so it, no mistakes are permanent before you fire them. Okay, now we are going to put black, um, black powder and white frit on his face. Now, um, these are powdered glass, so they do have silicate in them, so they are very bad for you, and the dust is a hazard. So what I do is I keep, my, I keep them wet, right? I put water in them so that they, do, they are wet, and that's why you can see that they're quite dark on... See how dark that is? You can actually see the, um, the water line yeah, the moisture. on there. Um, and I'm using a palette knife, trusty palette knife. And you we can, do love palette knives. Right, you can see. Um, the other th nice thing about it being wet is it doesn't like spread out all over oh, the place. It just smushes right on down. That right, so there's no dust. Very useful. It doesn't like fly everywhere. So, but, um, Shepherds usually, well not usually, but often have two different colors of eyes. So I put some black on one side, and now I'm gonna put a little <laughs> speck, just, I mean this takes like, one, this is a coarser frit. It just takes one. Yeah, the black is a powder, and this is a coarse frit, coarser and frit. Just a reminder, the first 10 people that yeah. buy this kit get both the coarse white grit and the black uh, glass powder so you can do such adorable detailing yourself which is right. awesome so we're gonna do the other eye white he oh he's so cute isn't he okay already and so then we'll put um, we need to put his pupil tiny tiny <laughs> tiny tiny <laughs> bit of black it still kind of looks like a ghost but it's a really cute ghost well, there you go, right? You heard it here first, people. Uh, ghost dogs are the best ghost dogs. Ghost dogs are the best. <laughs> best ghosts or best dogs, or just best in general? Just best in general. Okay. Ooh. Ah, stay, stay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't sneeze. Okay. Now he needs a nose. And it doesn't take a ton of powder, so you know, don't get super overexcited. You can squish it out. Okay. Now, if you are going to um, do these at like a workshop or something, you would want to put watered down glue or glass tack or something on here to keep that on because it, as it dries, it will become powder. But if you're working in your own shop and you're going straight, like if I were putting that right in the kiln, then I wouldn't need to do anything else to it. Okay, so. Now, if we were going to make this guy into a magnet, what we would do is take our um, 20 gauge nichrome wire, and that's in the kit, it is and included we would cut uh, a piece, two pieces, and these are to attach the ears on. And the reason we do it this way is so that the ears are a little bit um, adjustable, that we yeah. can sort of make them you know, we can tip them if we want to, or mm -hmm. the other thing is, as I show you these, um, when you arrange these in your kiln to fire them, you can move the ears, and, and so sometimes I put the ears straight out so that I can fit more critters yeah. in. You can see that with uh, this chihuahua, which is very cute. Yep, Look and at you that can move with his, his little, little ears. ears. And then and the dachshund has yeah, movable the dachshund ears. has his little ears like bent down like that. Okay, so the, on your pattern, so if <laughs> they're really cute, I know, but I'm working. Okay, fine. <laughs> so on your pattern, um, the patterns are not necessarily laid out in proportion, particularly the basset you can see and the poodle because they take up a lot of room. So on your pattern, there are little spots right here, little X's on the edge of the the dog's head, and that's where you attach the ear wire, and then the other end attaches to the ear, um, at the top of the ear. Okay, and then 
you put. Okay, if you have piece, so this is, remember when I was talking about putting the ears straight out? If you put your ears like this, then you don't have to bend the wire and you don't have to worry about it moving. <laughs> right, because this is it's, so funny. it's straight, I know it is funny. It's really funny when you see them all in the kiln because they all look like they're flying in a high wind. <laughs> Let's see, didn't you have like, um, I think it was Poodle with its ears all spread out. Oh yes, it does I, look like I it's did flying. bring him to you. It's very cute. Okay, so then you put this top layer on like this and you fuse him using a full fuse schedule that's good for whatever kind of glass you're using. Um, and bottle glass we have the schedule for, but if you're using art glass, you need to use the manufacturer's schedule. And of course this kit is add your own glass, so you can add whatever kind you want. Okay. So if you were doing a magnet, then you would... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jan Harris-Smith sends us this cute little heart emoji. Aww. <laughs> I love Jan. Jan's my hero. Okay. Oh, the, uh, just a heart. Just a heart. She has three dogs. Oh. Shepherds and I can't remember what the other one is. Jan. Jan, send us your dogs. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, so if we were just going to do a magnet, we would go ahead and fuse him now. But if we were going to do an ornament, we would add one more piece of wire. It's the same pattern. And we just we would make a loop again with our 20 gauge wire and we'd put it right here and then fuse. Okay, but if wow. we were going to make a garden or a plant stake, like our cute little chihuahua over here, Aww, look at we this. would take so our cute. 18 gauge wire, also in your kit, and we would cut off a piece about this long. And we would glue it at the bottom right yep. here. Can, here, can I pull this off of its stake? You can, Let's oh see. maybe, can you? I, I mean, I did. Okay. So you can see on the close-up how he's got the little bendy wire. Right. So if you have a small kiln, if you have like a small six inch or nine inch kiln, you can coil up your wire like this. You can coil it up into mm -hmm. a spring shape before you fire and it will save you a lot of space in your kiln so you can fit a lot more dogs in. Okay. So let's look at what this guy looks like fused, Ooh. shall we? Through the magic of he's, television. Yes, through the magic of television. He's a funny looking little guy. Oh, he's so cute. So we'll, um, now this is straight out of the kiln and I'm gonna show you how much of the um, mica wipes off. Oof. Okay, so. Uh, Sheila Knight says, someone needs to stop treading on that cat's tail. <laughs> Right. <laughs> That's my, you have a question alarm and <laughs> it's a very alarming. Okay, so here's this guy. You don't actually have a question. I just uh, felt you like. You just felt like, okay. Demonstrating. You just felt like it. Demonstrating. So this uh -huh. guy is just fused um, by himself, right? He's gonna be a magnet. And so we have the magnets that we have in our kit are very strong, they're ceramic magnets. And we have E6000. Woo because it comes in tiny, cute tubes. And we have a million of them. And we have a million. So, um, I'll share with all of you wonderful viewers that we love very much. Right, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you, glue, you glue your magnet right to the. You glue your magnet to right the table. Right to the table. And now you have an okay. excellent like fridge hanging. Right, <laughs> so you just glue that guy on the back. Um, and then, of course, let it sit for 72 hours, which is always the hard part. Okay, yeah, so fun. now we've, we've cut one out, we've painted one, we've, done, we've shown how to do a magnet, we've shown how to do an ornament, and we've shown how to fuse in the garden stake. So the rest of these I'm going to show you how to paint um, because I already have them cut out. So, that, so now comes the fun part. We do love the fun part, and this right. kit is very fun. You should get it. The first 10 people who buy get both this uh, white frit and the black powder. Yes. And these are that. used, these are, now these are compatible with float and bottle glass. They're not compatible with art glass. Um, so, mm -hmm. but the mica is. So there you go. Go that route. Okay. So let's look at, um, let's look at our cute little chihuahua. Cause he is pretty darn cute. Uh -huh. Even if he does look a bit like Yoda. <laughs> Okay, oh, so he's green. Well, he's very green. He's <laughs> Oh, he's not actually as 
Okay. He's actually yellow in person, but he, on, he the, looks, on the monitor, he, he does looks look very Yoda. Very Yoda like. So, um, because we're using bottle glass, we have a limited number of choices in terms of uh, bottle glass, you know. So, we're using yellow, but we're going to paint him with metallics and various things. So, can we paint him with metallic green? No. Aww. We're going to paint him real dog colors. Poor little muffin. Okay. All right. Real dog colors. That's so fun. Yeah, I know. How about gold? We have gold. Yeah, we're going to use gold. Okay. Here, let me see. Ooh, this one is... Which one is this? Uh, it looks like maybe red or purple. I'm not sure which purple All looks right. like. Let's see. Yeah, purple. Is that one included in the kit? Uh-huh. Awesome. You two can yeah. have these wonderful, not real dog colors that you won't let me use. <laughs> but what if you wanted to do a fantasy like Cheshire Cat with purple stripes Right, or wouldn't that be cute? Right? So that could be a thing. All right, so I'm using on this guy, you can actually, we're gonna paint him just like the plant steak so you can see the before and after. Look at how cute. Right. So the thing about dogs, and cats also, is they kind of have eye, eyebrows, and <laughs> maybe not quite eyebrows, but they have like eye ridges, and of course those catch the light too, right? So you have, if you paint those on, it will give them a little more three-dimensional. A little more depth? A little more depth, yep. Okay. That is a very green little dog on I, I know, hilarious. sorry. Uh, so, um, you want a nice, even coat of mica. Mine is not quite stirred all the way. S but it doesn't have to be too thick. If it's too thick, it may cause a little bit of puckering in your glass. All right. And then the other thing that catches the light are the top edges of ears and the bottom edges of ears, because ears are cup-shaped, right? So they're going to catch the light on the top and down here at the bottom. So we want gold at the, we want that gold highlight at the top there, and then down at the bottom. Down at the top, and the bottom there. Okay, let's see, I wanna make him match my, let me see what I did on that guy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We'll put him right next door here, okay. He doesn't look as green after he's fused. He looks very round though. Well, yeah, he's, well, he still looks kind of green. A little bit. A little bit. So, if your dog is green, that's valid. All We love all colors of dogs. We, do, we love all dogs all right. in general. Just dogs are great. We do love dogs. I, however, speak cat, so. <laughs> and cats uh, do flock to Master Cat Lady over here. We go on walks around our neighborhood, and there's uh, a few cats that are uh, regulars. <laughs> and they uh, sometimes they don't <laughs> like to come say hi to me, but they do love to. They always come say hi to me. Yes, almost always. All right. Okay, so we're adding some, these are the shadows right here, right? And here's this little, some chin fur. Now if your mica is too thin, it's gonna burn off. So I'll show you some examples of that. I'm adding a little oh, bit it's of. it's got a little mustache. A little bit, a little bit. It's a door. Okay, let's not pour our mica all over the table. What? You don't want to go the magnet made to the sparkly mess. table? Look, I've already made a mess. Okay. It's fine. Uh, let's see. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's all good. The table will survive. All right. Now, the thing about chihuahuas is they have these really round little heads, right? And so they have really round little eyes. <laughs> so uh, when you're making pet, if, when you're making your own pattern, I'll give you some tips here. Um, if you, when you're making your own pattern, if you're making your own pattern, whichever, um, it's kind of like caricature drawings at the state fair, right? Like, have you guys ever had ever ever done that, where they, you give the artist like ten bucks and they make this fast drawing of you, and it's it's got like you're flinging ears. <laughs> uh, oh, I am flinging ears. Um, and what they're doing is they're looking at you carefully. And, and they're exaggerating the most prominent features. Yes, they're exaggerating the most prominent feature 
of you. And so when you're making patterns of animals, it's, you do the same thing, right? You look and you go, okay, so chihuahuas, uh, what do chihuahuas have that most other dog that makes them like unique. visually unique among other dogs, right? And so that could be, um, it could be their head shape, because they are kind of round. It could be um, their very big eyes. So we've put very big eyes on ours, and we'll put a little, um, my fret needs to come down to the end. <laughs> put a little bit of white on there, and put a little dot, a shiny spot on his nose also. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You know what I need here? What? Two palette knives. No. Yeah. No. -uh. You've got fingers. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So then um, we would assemble him exactly the same way. We'd just use the wires on the ears, and we'd stack him up. Here's his extra ears, and here's his bottom layer. Um, and we would just we'd put, we'd put him together just like this. Okay, so now let me show you some examples of fused ones. Here's an ornament. Now I did, I tried to do different thicknesses of mica to give you guys an idea. So this one was very thin, and you can see that it, sure, it mostly burned off. Like I did a really thin wash of mica. Oh, he's very cute. He's still very cute. He looks like and he you has can a see there mustache. is some mica there, but it's Calm it's not down. as visible. And then this one has sort of a medium thickness, and this is the thickness that I did here on camera, so you can see. And so if, if you get this result where your mica is not showing up, it may be because your mica is not thick enough on the mm -hmm. the doggy. Oh, they're so cute. All right, let's do a poodle next. Woo, poodles. Because he has a very... So poodles, um, their prominent feature is, of course, their crazy haircuts, right? <laughs> um, because the poodles usually get very fancy haircuts. Um, and poodles, to me, always look like that poor kid on the playground that's in their Sunday clothes and never gets to play in the mud because they're always all dressed up, right? So uh, she's going to meow me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, <laughs> Jocelyn says, never realized how much Chihuahua looked like yoga. Yoda? <laughs> Yoga. <laughs> yes, yoga. Yoda. Uh-huh. Isn't that funny? Right there. And Sherry Berry says, they call my chihuahua an apple head. Oh. Yes. Right? <laughs> so you could actually even tweak the pattern a little bit and make his jaw a little bit smaller and his forehead even a little bit bigger. So you can, you can do some customization that way. And then guest uh, 757 says, I love these dogs. They look adorable. Aren't they cute? Aren't they I funny? love them. They may, all of them make me laugh. Okay, so the other thing that we have about poodles, and we're going to have to, the glass is black. This is from Vintage Plates. So um, you can also use bottle glass and typically things like uh, Irish cream or, you know, cream whiskey kind of things come in these black bottles. Um, the thing about poodles, though, is they seem to have the curly curly fur, right? And that could be a tricky thing for us to actually do. So I'm going to show you how to paint curly fur. Well, or give the idea of curly fur. <laughs> so Guest 310 says, what painting with? Uh, mica and hairspray, right? Yes. Yeah, so we're using mica and mixed with hairspray. And the uh, mica comes in the kit. So we right, have mica it comes in the um, kit. colors. The hairspray, you, just, you have to supply yourself. Okay. <laughs> so the brush I'm using for the curly fur is, um, can you see? Yeah, you can see it's kind of, it's ruined, right? What you want is a short, stiff bristle brush that's kind of all, <laughs> that's a technical term, by the way. It's a very technical term. Um, and so then I'm taking my mica, and before I mix it, I'm tipping it to the side like this, and so that I can use, I can reach the thicker stuff down at the bottom. I think you can see through the side of the bottle. Yep. Right there. And I'm, I've got, so now I've got really thick mica on that 
brush that's kind of all bristly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, uh, see it's too, too much. I want it to be like this. Almost like sponge painted. Oh. Right, so I'm yeah. almost looking for a sponge painted sort of texture. <laughs> Oop, but not too much, not that was too much. much. Oh, no. Oh, and actually, you could do that, too. You could blot it back off if you get too much, right? And it will give yeah. us a little bit of a texture there. Okay, so we're doing both ears. <laughs> They're so funny looking. They are funny. All right, now looking, we're going to have to sort of go side by side with our picture here. But poodles have a strong um, brow bone, and so they kind of look out underneath their, they look out underneath their eyebrows. They have a little unibrow. Because they're sad, because they don't get to play in the mud. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna leave its eye sockets not curly. We're gonna leave them. Right. I kind of like how it looks like a gradient with all the strong mica towards the top. Right? It's okay. nice. Yeah, because uh, when his face would be short fur, right? So we do smaller do you Smaller dots. bristly deets. Right, smaller bristly deets. <laughs> bristly deets. <laughs> bristly <What>? deets. <laughs> okay. So I am still going to put um, the black frit, even though it's black on black. Because it's it does, still texture. yeah, it's still a little, it still gives a little bit of depth. Yeah. yeah. Right. And we have our nose. I added a little more water to my frit because it was a little thick. I wanted it to be easier to. These little um, highlights are really important. Uh, if you don't have frit, you can use just a pin drop of silver mica for that. But this is sort of the what gives you the impression that their eyes are wet, or and that their nose is wet, right? Because yeah, you need they that have reflection. cold, wet little noses. So yes. do cats. cats. Yes, so they do. <laughs> My cat right. likes to stick her cold, oh, wet. Look at <laughs> we need to do a raccoon. Aww. Right? Yeah, my cat sticks her cold, wet little nose in my ear and purrs really loudly and is something. It's definitely so. Okay, it's so definitely wet. Here's one that's been fused, and here's another one that's been fused. So this one has an ornament uh, can thing I show on it. Close up? Yeah. And you can see on the edge, I put these guys too close together and they did fuse a little bit together. So I've ground off the edge of his jaw just a little bit there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. those are so funny. Isn't it funny? Okay, so while we have this guy, though, I'm going to show you how to make him into a garden steak. Okay. Or a plant steak. This is like an ideal project for a small kiln, isn't it? It is perfect for a small kiln. And it's also really good for, um, for shows. Gosh, did huh? you see me just completely blank there? It's really good for shows because people love um, customized things. And so... Um, I would make all of these all of these dog breeds in all of the different things, and then in all different colors. All the different colors, including magical blue collies. Yes, including magical blue collies, or especially I like especially do like to have. Okay, that's not the proper use for that tool. <laughs> uh, um, Pat Ackerman says looks great already. Thank you. Right. They're very funny. So these, if I if you're doing shows. Um, and you're interested in this, I would price these, retail these, somewhere between probably $6 for a magnet and maybe uh, $8 for an ornament. And remember, mm -hmm. your kit comes with ribbon. So put yep. the ribbon on it before people get it so that they can just um, give it to someone. They don't have to, like, figure out the ribbon part themselves. Yes, and... You want to make it, it easy. <laughs> Because this kit is only $39 plus priority shipping, you can pay off your investment like with these little oh, with uh, like ornament things. Like in like the first 10 ornaments. Oh, and yeah. I tried to make sure, well, you have enough materials for at least I'm 30, 34? 30, 30, so 30 some odd ornaments. Yeah, 30, 30 some, some odd ornaments. Dogs or pets, not Woo! necessarily just ornaments. And once you get the 
kit, you'll know what you need to make these adorable ah. little ornaments, and you'll have the pattern so you can make. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Isn't he funny? Yes. So he can adorable. go on our plant. Okay. Okay. Can I have the other chihuahua head back? Because um, yeah. Oh. Uh, Wait, it's over here. Never mind. Oh, you already have him. <laughs> okay. I'd like him back. I already have him, but I'd like him back. Here, look, see, look at these see adorable how that goes. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. And of course, you can make white poodles, too. And if you're making white poodles, you might think about doing, like, one of the ice colors, like a blue yeah. or a green. Something. Right, just make them make it a little pretty and pastel. Pretty and pastel, right? And then you just assemble it with the two layers and fuse it exactly the same as the other. So I, I do awesome. them all together in, in my kiln. is a very, it's like a dog party. It's awesome. <laughs> dog party. So let's do a basset hound, because we do love bassets. bassets Hounds are, so are my favorite kind of dog. We fostered a hound. We did foster a hound, and we had, I always had hounds when I was growing up. Um, and I do. Hounds are so. I good. do love hounds. With their big old ears, <laughs> big old faces. All right. <clears throat> so this guy's ears are not lined up on the pattern. So we'll. Um, I'll show you where they go. There's marks, but I'll show you how they they look when they're assembled. Okay. And we're gonna do. <laughs> That's gonna disappear before the next time. <laughs> Uh, guest 757 says, I'm ordering this kit right now. The patterns are so cute, and I love the practicality of having everything I need to create my pooch. Yes, I do too, because when I get something, I don't want to have to make six trips somewhere else to right. get whatever. I want it to just, I want to go. So I have cute. no patience for that. Okay, so this guy, see, he has the, the eyebrows too, and of course his ears are the, the big... <laughs> <laughs> feature. Big droopy ears. So I'm using, um, Bassets are a tricolor hound, just like beagles, and well most, I'm going to say most. Um, so I'm using silver, gold, and copper for my three colors. And I'm using clear glass, which um, shows the, the metallics to really show up well. They show up also really well on black glass, so you really could do it either way. All right. So I'm gonna make his, it doesn't really matter what order you go in in these, as long as you, um, if you don't want your mica to mix with each other with the next door color, kind of give it a second to dry in between. Guest 757 says, does the kit come with the mica paint as well? It comes with the mica and you have to supply it the hairspray. It comes with the mica and the bottles and the storage box, and then yep. um, you use whatever kind of hairspray. So the reason I don't include hairspray is because not all hairsprays work well with each other. And if I were to send you a little bottle like this, and once it was gone, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have... be able to use your kit anymore because you wouldn't be able to yeah. add more. So I would like you to choose a brand that you can get easily. So that way you can always add more without having to worry about... Um, having to find it, yeah. Or, or having to buy more hairspray from me, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so Kathy says, Jody, do you also have patterns for cats? Are you going to make a kitty ornament? Yes, we do have a kitty. And I'm going to show you how to do. We have um, one kitty pattern. It's a basic kitty because most cats are very similar. Mm -hmm. Well, we didn't do any super specialty <laughs> breeds, but yeah, they mostly um, are just colored. It's up on close up. We get this adorable. Look at that. Oh, that is a very <laughs> cute little cat. I'm going to show you how to make a torty, a tortoise shell cat because I think that's like torties really are the fun. cutest. Torty is like the one cat we haven't had. I know, and they are they are awesome. I need I need a torty. Uh huh. You Me. need a job. <laughs> I have a job, thanks. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. Okay, so I've put silver mica down the the front of his face on his eyebrows and a little bit under his eyes. So now we'll do some. Um, woo, they are a little sticky. Okay. We will do, I'm going to do his ears first. Okay. So you can see there's a few spots on the bottom of his ears and down the middle of his ears. Those are the highlights. And 
and then <laughs> see this long stripe right there? That's actually the inside of his ear that folds, or you know how hound ears kind of fold down? Very floppy. Yeah, very velvety. floppy. So that's actually the underside of his ear that we're seeing there. So we're gonna make it gold. Oh. And we'll make the outside of his ear copper. Looks like he has a mustache, I love it. He, yes, it does look like he has a little mustache. They kind of do a little bit. I love their droopy eyes. Yes. We had a blue tick hound when I was in high school, and that oh. dog was awesome. But it had the biggest bark you have ever heard in your life. <laughs> it would bay. And oddly enough, it was named the same name as my little brother, <laughs> which I don't really know about that. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to make his chin some copper here. Oh. Okay, and then we'll add in copper oh, here. Oh, <laughs> he's so cute. Every time we're terrible, we'll be driving down the road and all of a sudden we'll see a dog and we're like, oh, look how cute. Right. Oh. We're cat calling people's dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and people's cats. Okay, and, then, and their pets, right? We're cat calling people's pets. Yeah, there's a cat that lives um, fairly close oh, to our... Now yeah. see how this is bleeding together here? That's because my mica is still wet, but I kind of like it, actually, because mm -hmm. it he gives looks him... Like a melty. Well, and it gives him kind of a... Character. ...unique pattern, a unique yeah. fur pattern, right? And I'll show you, I painted another one with this same pattern in it. They all... So you can do so many variations with this. Right. Without even having to... Okay, and now I want these ones to mix on purpose because we want, it's the fur is the, I mean, it's the same ear, right? So we don't want it to be super different. We want it to kind of be. Yeah. So I mix up tiny batches of this mica because then if it gets contaminated or if I want to mix it and make a new color, I can either just, you know, Yeah, and then you don't have to deal and, with the yeah. whole thing. And I, then I can use my other colors. There's a cat that lives kind of near us, the bl big old black one that lives out people outside of people's houses and flirts with people. <laughs> and whenever we see it, we're like, oh, look, he's out like playing in the leaves. Never well, actually like interacted with this cat, but it's such a pretty thing. We have black a, cats are we so cute. Have a black, we lost our black cat last Christmas, so we yeah. still so we, we still miss him, mm -hmm. even though it's been a long time. Okay, so here's the thing about hounds. There's his eyes. Oh, we forgot his great big old nose because hounds do have big, big round big little triangle noses, noses. Right? Remember the defining characteristics? Yep. <laughs> there's a big nose. See, the nice thing about having this wet is that I can like it's moldable. Moldable. Not. It won't stay moldable forever, but I can put. Oh, like that. <laughs> he's so cute with his he big old eyes. There's one more thing though that we need. Oh, that. yep, the highlight. Yes, but with hounds in particular, you know, they have like the big droopy bottom eyelid. Yes. So we're go we're actually going to put some white along the bottom of his eyelid. Oh. Uh, right thank you to here. Patricia Blouth, I think, for getting the kit. Thank Very you. appreciative. And then we will, of course, put the little. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Bassets are so cute. This is kind of detailed work, so. OK. <laughs> OK, so there's this guy. So when you put him together, you want to put his ears down like this, <laughs> right? Oh, look at that little so cutie. He, so you can see. Oh, there we go. Looks just like a little puppy. <laughs> so here he I is. I might need a basset here <laughs> with he his ears used. all spread out. And this is what I meant about you can spread his ears out. Right? They look like they're flying. That's so funny. Right? It's not quite the flying nun. It's the flying basset. But hmm? that way you can uh, make more room in your kiln yeah. if you need to. Yeah. Yeah. Again, this is really good for small kilns because it's a very like, it's it's not a big they're thing, but it's so cute, super. and it like you can sell them, and they're like and nobody else will have them at exactly. their exactly because they're all unique, good. which is so cool. 
So if you make your wire, see I have, I have quite a bit of wire here. If that worries mm -hmm. you, you can always make a twist there. Mm -hmm. And then it acts almost like a little spring. Oh. So it gives him <laughs> a little a, bit of bounce. A little bit of bounce. There we go. Okay. So here he is. Uh, Margaret Peggy Mason says, that one is my favorite. Oh, yes, I love this guy. All okay. right, do you want to put a string on him and put him up on our hanger? Sure. Do you want to use some of the ribbon that comes in the kit? Cause sure, if you want. That'll be awesome. Right. Comes in a variety, well, yeah, we'll random colors. Random colors, yeah. We so will, right now we'll, I have like a blue, teal. It's... And I, we'll make sure your colors match, but we don't yeah. always know what colors we're going to Yeah, so end up with. it'll be a surprise. It will so. be a surprise. Okay. Can um, I borrow your small snippy scissors? Uh, I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> <laughs> we only have some, oh, they're there. Okay, I thanks. I have like one little tiny piece of table and I still lose things. Okay, so we have um, a, a beagle and we have a kitty left. So I'm gonna do the kitty next because the beagle is very similar to the basset. It's then just if less If we have ears. time, we'll come back to him. And if we don't, we will, um, you can refer to the basset. Instructions. Okay, so this is a basic cat, and um, don't call him basic. He's beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I probably should have cut this ribbon a little longer. Whoops. Things to note: cut your ribbon longer than you expected. Oh yeah. I usually well, allow for like a foot. We're going to allow for a foot of ribbon per right. minute. So Aww. you'll get 24 feet of ribbon. Okay. So here you have a beautiful cat. Here, let's, can we show this on close up sure. real fast? Look at how cute that is. This little ribbon, that's adorable. I love it. Bassets are the cutest. <laughs> Especially when they're running. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Corgis are really oh. cute too. <laughs> you didn't do a corgi. Oh, yet. Okay. Yet. Uh, yet. Not in this Stay batch, tuned. but we have many more beautiful creatures we can do. Okay. Uh, Sheila says, the hound is my favorite too. All right. Is he not adorable? He's so cute. So cats in some ways are even easier because they are all one piece. They don't have wires in between. And they're all triangles. And they're kind of all triangles, yes. Yeah, so they're a good place to start. Um, this is a very beautiful oh. cat. <laughs> it's very pointy. <laughs> it's like an um, American short hair. Sure. It can be whatever kind of cat you want, right? Well, it can't be a Persian. Persians are now so that's round. True. Okay. So this is a just a, a domestic short hair cat. Domestic short hair, that's a good okay. name for it. So you can see he does have some <laughs> markings here. So we'll do, um, if we were to do a tabby, we would, I would use Ooh. probably copper. So we'll just do a little copper tabby. Can we add highlights in purple? Uh, do you wanna do a purple tabby? Let's do purple tabby. Purple okay. is fun. Purple is a good color. <laughs> Rock and ruin, rock and ruin, huh? Right. Okay. Uh, so I should mention, you see me stirring this. Uh, the mica, you just flinged yes, the mica all over yourself. The mica settles out, so you have to, you'll end up having to remix it every time you use it. That is completely the way it works. So what I do is every time I dip my brush, I just give it a swirl, um, and that keeps it mixed the whole. So when you see me doing that, that's what I'm doing, and it, it keeps it mixed the whole time. <laughs> Yes. Hasn't disappeared yet. Uh, Terry says, these are cute, aren't they? They are very cute. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna, I shouldn't have mixed it, but I wanna do something very similar to the poodle and use my frayed out brush to make the tabby stripes. Cause you remember if, well, if you think about tabby stripes, they're not really solid stripes. No, they're right? like squishy zigzags. Yeah, they're kind of squishy zigzags. So um, we'll just try and blot this off a little bit. But they always have that, okay, see how we can have a... Oh, a little purple tabby. Right, and they always usually have that M on their forehead, M for marvelous, right? <laughs> uh-huh, the marvelous uh, purple tabby. The marvelous purple tabby. Marvelous then, purple mabby. Oh, dear. <laughs> and then, um, for, uh, remember with the ears, they have, of course, we have the little fold over at the top, and then there's usually some for at the bottom there. Okay. 
So you can do a tabby. Ooh, our hourglass is getting low. What? Ah! <laughs> no! I'm not ready! Okay, and we're gonna add in his eyebrows here. And I'm actually gonna do his nose highlights with the... He's very purple from this angle. I don't know if you can oh, see it on the overcam. He's gonna be very purple all the way Aww. around. You can't really see it on camera, but he's very purple. Oh, well, you could show it on the close-up and yeah. see how purple <laughs> he is. Okay. Now, um, with cat eyes, they have a color, the color eye and then the very thin pupil. So um, mica can also act as a separator. So you don't want to do the whole oval eye in mica and then put the, the powder on top because that mica will act as a separator and the powder won't stick. So we can do a couple of things. We can either um, paint his eyes in two sides right, like this and like this. Or can we add the frit first? Well, you can, but what will happen is the mica will make it float and spread. Mm, so then you have so like then a you have big blurry pupil. Yeah, so, or we can put this on here and let it dry and then we'll scratch off the middle part and I'll mm. show you how to do that. Okay. All right, so if you wanna show that guy on close up, we can do that and then I'll show you how to do a tortoise shell really quick. I'm not sure we have time for a Tori. Yes, we do. Are you sure? About yes. That? Oh, look at how purple that is. Right, it is very purple. Oh, I love it. Okay. Because torties are a very cool thing. So, uh, when you're doing a torty, which is like a, the tricolor of cats, and we're doing it in metallics, I'm not doing a purple torty, sorry. No. How sorry, about a please. green torty? No. <laughs> I want to do or it. blue, or a... So, what <laughs> you do, me. I'm totally ignoring you. <laughs> I, however, have the singing question. Yes, you do. Do we have a question, or do you just... No, I just... Oh. I just You're just reminding me. Yep, just okay. in case you uh, think. Right. So, with this, what you could do is you add... <laughs> Looks like very askew little eyes. Right, but they're not. This is going to be his. Okay, where's my silver? That's not silver. Here's silver. Or pearl, I guess. It's labeled as pearl in the Mica kit. Okay. Ooh. All right. <laughs> um, and then what you do is you take your handy bendy straw. I'm always, you know, right? You ready? <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> right and you can um this is actually a cool thing to do on bigger glass pieces too because you can it looks like smoke right you can get really cool patterns with your mica and that so you can um do it that way and then when he's dry oh, okay i'm not looking at if i don't look at it it doesn't exist right the hourglass has run out in case any of you okay, are wondering. Okay, not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, so want me to... with your torty, don't turn it over again because I... No, I'm not, just okay. hiding it. Oh, all right. So with, with your torty and with your cat eye here, so you let the mica dry and then you just come back in here carefully with a tool. Right, and you can... Um... <laughs> So you can leave it like that, or you can then um, use your palette knife and add some. Oh goodness, so many palette knife. I know, right? See, I should get a. I found a really cool uh, set of palette knives of 18 palette <laughs> knives online. So, the really I'm all one. about the palette knives right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And then of course we have the nose, nose. Oh, no. Right, no. The okay. hourglass has run so out. So you can see I've added the black shh powder right there <laughs> in the middle of the eye. All right, so quickly, let me show you on the torty. Fine. You can do You're the same thing. Let's go try. Oh, sorry, you can do the same thing. 
Um, Ooh, but not this, a fun sound. I know it's not a fun sound. You can, or you can use like a Q-tip with the alcohol on it. But this way, you take out the whole entire eye and then start over painting it in like we did, because you'll want a solid color on that eye. Okay, Green? if you wish, oh. let me show you a twerty that has been. <laughs> Do you not see this? <laughs> Shh. Okay. Shh. All right. Look, show this close up. Fine. It's actually really cute. See? Isn't it? I know, I know. Just show them the beagle. Let's just show them the beagle. I'm not right, going to paint all right, it. All right, we're going to go to beagle. Okay. No, that's the basset. This is the beagle. Ugh, how many dogs do you need? <laughs> this is the beagle. All of the dogs. Oh, it's very cute, too. See? So we didn't get to paint him together, but he's very similar to the Bassett. Yes. Um, and the pattern is on your, your sheet. Adorable. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Awesome. Because this <laughs> has been done. Okay, so we had some time to make up from last time. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sheila says, why do hours go so fast here? <laughs> Oh, right. right, ask me. I don't know. <laughs> and Sherry Berry says, great job, everyone. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Sherry. Thank you for watching. <laughs> You're really what makes it for us. Right. So, Do we have a winner? Oh, winner, that is winner? a good question. Do we have a winner? Because I almost forgot. You get I to never forget. I well, always, good for you, I, I guess. <laughs> I, I, I forget other things, but I never forget that thing. <laughs> Okay, so Kay. while we're waiting for uh, the winner to be announced, let's talk about this kit a little bit more yeah, because it's a really phenomenal kit. Look at the, the, the cute pictures over there, the cute thing over there. Right, so we have, I uh, just blanked, give me a minute. <laughs> we have patterns. Yes, we have patterns. Let's scoosh these into frame. Oh, look at right. how fun those are. There's the one singular cat. <laughs> yes, one, one cat. sad little cat. We have ribbon, which she's cutting, so I can't put the other one in there. But That's we have okay. we have ribbon, ribbon, and two different gauges of wire, and several mm. different flavors of mica, and uh, eight eight different flavors, of eight mica. different flavors of mica. Wow, it's a whole palette. And then we have skewers, so you can make your little guard stick. There's 24 of those, 12 magnets, um, two tubes of E6000. Um, I'm not, and nah, geez. And the I'm, bonus things. There's, and the bonus things yep. for the first 10 people who get the kit, you get um, black glass powder and white glass powder so you can make those beautiful liquid eyes. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a winner. Okay, let's hear it. Just scooch out of my side. I'm sorry. Of I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, Terry, Terry Love Morrison, send us your address, and we will get two of these gorgeous ornaments, magnets, or our garden stakes right. sent to you right away. And Thank you. Send it to. Send it to. Hello at Curious Mondo. Hello at Curious, Curious Mondo. Mondo. Is it? I don't know. We're gonna say hello at CuriousMondo.com. Thank you <laughs> so much. And. Um, yeah, thank you all and so much for watching. It's we'll been see you a time. in two weeks. In two weeks, and right? What are we doing in two weeks? I don't know. What are we doing in two weeks? We are doing stainless steel ribbon molds. Ooh, and that, that sounds fun. Is fun. It it's really fun. You <laughs> say that about everything. So look forward to that, folks. In two weeks, we are doing stainless steel ribbon molds. Yes. Yes. Awesome. So we hope to see you back here again. Thank you so much.